Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I hope you're well. We've been talking about a very serious topic over the past few days. We're talking about that idea of being consumed, being consecrated to Christ. We, we, we quoted the, 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 the statement from Varley, which, which says that the world has yet to see uh, one person who has been fully consecrated to Christ. And what an indictment and what a truthful statement. I know I don't live being fully consecrated to Christ, and, and I'm sure you're in that boat as well. And uh, how do we get from where we are to where we need to be in Christ? Well, it's a, certainly a process, isn't it? Uh, we, as we go through this sanctification process, but we said that after baptism, after we're saved and after we're being baptized, um, uh, um, we, we consecrate and we, we, we begin to hunger and we thirst and we begin to devour the Word of God, making the Word of God a priority in our life. I said that without the Word of God, we have no power, no Word, no power, no Word, no miracles, no Word, no healings, no Word, no deliverance, no Word, commu no communication, and no, no Word, no relationship. In other words, if we if we're not spending time with God in his word, our relationship at the, at the very best is strained. At the very worst, we never had a relationship in the first place. You try not communicating with your spouse for a period of time and seeing how that uh, affects your relationship. Well, even more so because we are so dependent upon Christ. And when we choose to um, to uh, eliminate the Word of God or ignore the Word of God through our daily time in the Bible or in our time in church, we're, um, we're separating ourselves from the relationship and the communion that we could have with Christ, that intimacy, that idea of allowing Him to consume us. We look in John 15, 5, and it says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. John 15, 5. The, the idea that, that if we want God to use us of any, of any eternal uh, consequence, we need to be connected to him through the word of God. John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father but by me. Jesus is not a way to the Father. He is the way, the only way. And so he's saying here that you and I need to, one of the ways that we know that we're truly saved is to be connected to him, to, to, to stay connected with him. If you've done any farming, which I have not, um, but I live in a, uh, I serve in a rural community, and I do know that um, that when a grape falls from a vine, that that grape begins to wither and 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 wilt, doesn't it? It's uh, if you don't use it very quickly, get it off the ground, it'll it'll be useless. And the same is true. Uh, even more so for you and I, if we're not staying connected to the Word of God, if we fall away from the vine, and I've seen this over and over again, people who were once vibrant, who were in church, who desired to uh, to follow Christ, and all of a sudden something happens, a devast something devastating happens in their life, something real, something horrific, something that changed their life, but yet rather than staying uh, more connected to Christ, they choose to release and go the way of the world. And you see, uh, when you talk to them, oh, they still have the verbiage, don't they? But you can see in their lifestyle, you see what they put on Facebook, that they're wilting and they're withering and they're, they're drying up. And you wonder if they were ever connected to the vine at all, right? He says, for you and I have a decision to make each and every day, whether we're going to wake up and, and be connected to that vine, or are we going to go the way that uh, of, of the world? It's, it's our choice. If you want to be consumed by Christ, 
You must consume his word. In other words, for you to be where you where God wants you to be, you have to uh, 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 devour what he's already given us. Um, remember what he said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You know, that idea that we're going to, if we're going to grow big and strong as we tell our kids, eat everything on your plate or so you can become big and strong. If you want to become big and strong in Christ, you need to consume the word of God. It's got to be part of your diet. It's got to be part of your uh, uh, your uh, your habits each and every day, each and every week in the house of God. How important is it? The very fact is, is if you abide in me and I abide in you, you will bring much fruit. And without me, you can do nothing. Anything you've ever accomplished because of him very fact if you've trusted Christ as your Savior that you're part of the family is because of him. The very fact that you have an eternal home when you die is because of him. He says if you want more of me you can have more of me but you have to spend time with me. Amen? This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well and I'll talk to you soon.